Hi guys, we're back from Mommy Data Science Time, and today I'm here with the super fun art project. Today we are going to be making candles with a super amazing candle kit from Anchor Art. Nice. Let's see what you got, Heba. It looks so colorful. Mm -hmm. I am excited. Me too. Plus, this kit is completely child safe because it doesn't involve any melting the wax. How nice. So you can do it, any kid can do this who is yes. above what? Five eight. year old? Eight year old? It says eight on the box. And I'm eight exactly. Eight Yay. exactly. So you can do this without my assistance. Yes. Well, I can't burn it with your, without your assistance because it's a candle. Yeah. But making it, yes, without your assistance. Okay. So we're using a candle making kit to make a candle. Yes. This kit already comes with jars. There's three different ones. We have this one, which looks really pretty. We have this cool wavy one. And we have this simple one. I'm gonna choose the simple one. So we will make these for now. Those are nice shapes. I know. But the simple one is more for me. So, first what we're gonna do is, as you can see, we have these candle sustainers and wicks. What's a candle sustainer? So a candle sustainer is, as you can see, this little thing at the bottom. And this is the wick, the thing that you burn in the candle. So you put it in the candle so you can burn it? Well, yes. See? What is it made of? The sustainer is made of metal. Okay. And the wick? It's probably just thread and yeah. cotton. It's thread and something else because it doesn't exactly feel like thread. Okay. So we're going to take one of these. There's three. One for each jar. Place it in our jar. You want to move the kit away so we can see it better? Yeah. Put the napkin under so that way. No spills. Yes. No spills. I guess mommy still has to be there. Yeah. You forgot what this is doing. There's a little point at the bottom, see? Yeah. That's what you see at the end of the candles. We have. We Maybe have... I can just hold this. Mm. And it even comes with this wax, candle wax. A bunch of colors. Wow, so colorful. I know, all the colors of the rainbow. And you can pick as many as you want for one jar. You can even use all of them. But I'm only gonna be picking three. Yellow, Which colors? Green and blue. Actually, light blue. We won't be needing the rest of them. First, I wanna start with blue, the darkest color. Let's carefully open it. And I'm just gonna start with the flat liner. I'm gonna go leaning on them later. And you also have this tool to kind of shape it too. So, now I have this blue wax open. As you can see, it just comes out in little balls. Look at that. So, I'm just gonna start with a flat layer. Get my wick down and just hold it, sort of, while I pour the candle wax in. Once you pour a layer, that will wick will stand. Yeah, so that I'm doing. I'm only holding the wick for a layer. If not, we could have glued it. Oh, you're right. Are you going to pour the whole thing? I'm just trying to get a nice even layer. Oh, okay. And the wig is standing now. I'm just gonna try to get and make it nice and even without harming the wig. So I'm gonna. We have to make sure the wig is in the center. Mm hmm. It's pretty much there. Yeah. 
It will stand still when you add more layers, probably. Yeah, it's still, like, still. And I did spill a little, but that's okay. That's why we have a paper towel. So now, we're moving on to green. That green matches with your shirt. Oh, you're right. Plus, my favorite color is lime green, and this is the perfect lime green. How nice. That's a beautiful green, by the way. Thank you. Okay, next, I'm gonna oops, slant this and try to pour a slanted layer. Let me use this tool a bit to kind of make it a bit more slanted. But that's why this tool is here, of course, to help you shape the wax. Next, yellow. Yellow feels a bit hard. I feel like there's a lot of it in the packet. Such a nice bright yellow. I know, so sunny. And I'm gonna do this layer slanted the other way. Good idea. Just tilt it a little bit so you can get it slanted. Mm -hmm. That looks really cool, doesn't it? Beautiful color. I know. Now make the wick in the center. It stands still. Is that good? Yep. That's okay. Nice. Gonna add a little more blue, then a little more green. Yellow is gonna be in the middle. Oh. Yeah. Make it flat blue. Just a little bit more green. Just a little bit. Not too much. I'm not going to use the whole packet. That's enough. And look at my beautiful candle. Now this this um, kit doesn't come with scent, but I'm going to add some. I'm using French lavender scent. Lavender to make it scented candle. Huh? Nice, so this is a colorful candle. Now how does that powder settle in about? Do we do anything to the powder? No, you're supposed to do it like that. Remember, so you just have to be careful when you're lighting it? Yeah. Okay. This will smell really good when it's done. Fun fact, lavender helps with sleeping. The lavender scent makes is supposed to make you calm. And it's sure to help with sleeping. That's right, lavender is supposed to be very calming and soothing. Uh, it's used uh, as a massage oil as well. I know. You know, in some yoga places, um, people put a little bit of lavender oil on people's foreheads to make them nice and calm. Now, the candle is finished. Look how beautiful it looks. You want to light it? Yeah. Let's All go right. get a lighter. Be right back. So now we're going to light this candle. How nice. Heba, look at that beautiful candle. I know, it's amazing, right? Mm -hmm. It looks so beautiful. And the good thing about it is the flame already melts the wax because it's just starting because the flame melts the wax. Awesome. Good job on lighting the candle by yourself. Thank you. I'm just kind of scared of the lighter, so I used it. I have another candle instead. 
Nice. We have such a beautiful candle. It only took two steps to make this beautiful candle. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a fun art project for Heba, and she's excited because she used a lavender scent for this, and it smells good. Yeah, I smell it. Nice. Mm. And look at that wax melting. Yeah, you can see it. It's just right by the fire. You can see it just melting. Yeah, and it's a beautiful candle. Mm -hmm. You want to sing happy birthday, Heba? It's not even birthday. Well, whoever's birthday it is, wish them happy birthday. Yes. Happy birthday to you. You're a hundred and two. You smell like twenty and you look like one two. Say it loudly. Okay. Happy birthday to you. You're a hundred and two. You smell like a monkey and you look like one two. Uh oh. Smell like a monkey. No, no. <laughs> smell like a lavender. Yeah. Or smell like a candle. Lavender candle. Yes. All right. Well, thank you for watching our video. And please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that way you get notified whenever we make new videos. And be the very first to watch them. Bye. We need 1,000 subscribers, so please, please subscribe to our channel. Yes. Please, please, please. Let's see, the candle with the candle with the flame looks very beautiful. And you can see that, like right by that wick where it's melting. Well, well, where the wick is on fire, you can see that candle wax, I mean candle wax, melting. You smell like a monkey, and you look like one too. Happy birthday! Day.